Good day, I am Max, and this is a very informative tutorial on the three disc monte double lift move. Let's see it in action. Okay, here we go. Three discs, two losing discs, and one winning disc. Keep one eye on the winning disc, and your other two eyes on the losing disc. Watch as I mix them up. Have I lost you yet? We'll go faster. Wait a sec. What's that over there? Oh, it's nothing. What's that? You say I switch the discs. No, 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 sir. That would be cheating. If I wanted to cheat, I wouldn't switch these two discs over here. I would switch this one over here. Three words, sir. Trust me. Okay, here's a detailed explanation of the move, the double lift. Like in card magic, it, and some of you will be familiar with the double lift, it's basically picking up two cards as one and turning it over. <clears throat> you can do the same with discs, but um, because of the uh, properties of the disc, there's some finer details that need to be, to be sorted out. So here is the whole move um, in more detail. So I start off by picking up the two outside losing discs with my middle finger and my thumb. I lift them up and then I use the ring finger to start them revolving around. So up around, I pick them up, start the revolution with the ring finger and continue the revolution with the first finger while rotating and displaying the disc. This is simply a flourish to display um, both the discs as being blank, uh, nothing um, out of the ordinary, just picking up the discs with your two fingers, starting the rotation with the ring finger, and continuing the re uh, revolution with the first finger while rotating the wrists. Again, one more time, pick them up, show them as two losing discs. I take the one disc, put it on top of the other losing disc, and then I pick up the winning disc and do the same thing. Start with the ring finger, use the first finger, and display it. Now you have a couple of options here um, to get your double. You're going to need, in order to do, do, uh, get your double, you're going to want a break between the winning disc, the top disc, and the second disc, so you can turn them over as a unit. If you like, while you're revolving and displaying this disc, you can shove the top disc with your thumb forward, get a break with your middle and ring finger, and hold the break um, with the two fingers, and then put the winning disc on top. You now have a break between the first and the second discs, which you can now grab as a unit. The other option is, and the one I use most of the time, is to pick up the discs, put them together, pick up the uh, winning disc, put it on top, and as soon as it goes on top, I also grab the second disc um, with my finger and thumb, and just drop the bottom disc um, about uh, three or four mil uh, millimeters, about a sixteenth eighth of an inch. So again, I pick it up, put it on top, drop, drop it just slightly, and then hold the brake again with my middle or ring finger. So again, from the, from the uh, beginning, you pick up the two losing discs, put them together, pick up the winning disc, get a brake under the, uh, between the second and third, what will be the second and third losing disc, put it on top. You now take your first finger and your thumb and grab the winning disc and the losing disc and turn it over as a unit. You do this all in one smooth motion. Um, because the um, discs are a quarter of an inch thick, um, you don't want to um, be too slow about this um, so they can see that it's obviously thicker and two discs. So it's done just as one smooth motion 
soon as you turn it over, your thumb stays on this side, your first finger comes over the other side, and you lift the top disc up and drop it down. You've now switched um, a, what should be a winning disc with a losing disc. So again, you have a break, goes on top, you grab the two discs as a unit, you bring the disc up, you don't want to slide the disc off and put it down, you want to bring it straight up, drop it down. And that is the double lift. You're now in the situation where you have a losing disc, or a winning disc, and a losing disc on the bottom. So you're going to display those discs, uh, uh, both as losers, and there's uh, three or four different ways you can display um, these losing discs. Um, as, as losing this. Okay, here's the first method and probably the easiest method of hiding the winning disc along with the losing disc. So again, you do your double lift. You now have a winning disc here with a losing disc. Uh, the spectator believes the winning disc is here. So you simply do, what I'm sure most of you do, is a hype. And it is very easy hype to do because um, the focus is on the disc right here, which is supposed to be the winning disc. You display this as a loser, you hype, you display this as a loser, you throw it down, and Bob's your uncle. Um, just a couple of uh, footnotes on um, the hype here that uh, you might find interesting. Um, after you do the double lift, you display the losing disc. When I hype now, I don't have any gap between the two discs, um, like you would with cards. Usually, when you do the uh, you're hyping the card, you have one card with the middle finger the one card above it with the first finger, and you do your hype like so. Um, with the discs, you don't need to do that. You can have them both together, and this makes it a far, far um, more powerful hype and much harder to distinguish from really throwing the um, bottom disc down and or hyping and throwing the top disc down. So what I do in detail is I display I display the bottom disc with just holding it with my middle finger and the thumb. As I start to rotate it around to do the height, this is when the first finger comes in contact with the top disc and it just, just a little nudge forward to separate them two. You need very little probably only a 30 second of an inch, and you can hype. So again, you bring it up, they're in a pair, you display it, you hype, you hype, you throw it down, and um, you've, you've displayed two losing discs when actually one of them is a winning disc. So that's the first method uh, um, to hide the winning disc. Uh, one more time, I'm going through the whole motion. Um, again, displaying the two losers, playing the winner, keep your eyes on the winner, and you've done the switch. The second way of hiding the winning disc along with the losing disc is a little different, a little more complicated but it's the one that I probably use uh, um, very, very often. Um, again, everything's the same. You go and do the double lift. I now, this is what the move looks like. And you've displayed two losing discs that's actually uh, one of them's a winning disc. And how that works in slow motion and detail is again, you do your double lift. You now 
um, are in the same position with the winning disc on top of a losing disc. And here's a little flourish that supposedly displays them both as losing discs. You let both discs go forward. And the bottom disc goes into the right hand. So again, you let them go forward. You push off the bottom disc into the right hand. You take it and throw it down. This is now a winning disc. You put it on top of the hand and what it looks like you're doing is this. But what you're actually going to do is when you turn it over and throw it down, you're going to spin this disc around so it lands face down. So it looks like that. In actual fact, you've just shown this face twice. So again, you're in this position here, you've done your double, you're in this position here, this goes forward, you thumb off the bottom disc, display it, display it, throw it down, and you've displayed um, two losing discs where actually one is the winning disc. Another possibility of uh, displaying the winning and losing disc as two losing discs is what I call the stealth display. It's a very, very youthful uh, movement. Um, not as so much in the double lift, but later on in more advanced <coughs> moves, it's uh, very, very useful. And it looks like this. Again, you have your double. You're in the situation here like this. And this is what the stealth display looks like. Um, and the winning disc is there. How that works, the stealth display um, is basically what you're doing is you're going to be showing the backs of the two discs as supposedly the front where in fact you're um, showing the, uh, the backs and because these discs are basically double backers it's very difficult to tell whether which side you're showing. So how I do the um, stealth display, um, the winning disc goes on top, you turn it over, you, gotta, you turn it over um, 360 degrees, and you do what's very similar to a coin roll. And if you're familiar with a coin roll, but you're only using two very large coins and rolling the coins to show them as both be as losers like so. And how you do that is you're going to pick up both the discs. The thumb has got hold of the bottom disc and you're going to peel the bottom disc out and you get a beautiful display like so. You put them back together. You then push off the top disc, which is actually a loser, or sorry, winner, and then revolve this around, showing it as a loser also. Um, this move is really, really useful. Um, I'll just go off on a tangent here for a moment. This uh, movement's really useful um, later on. Um, in my routines, I often switch in an extra winning disc, which makes it impossible for the spectator to win because no matter what she chooses, um, I can always show another disc to be a winner. Um, and how I use it in, in, in that situation is I'll take the unknown winning disc, put it on top, Turn it over, pick it up, do the display, and you've just hidden the extra winning disc. There's um, some other options you can use to display um, 
or hide the winning disc amongst the losing discs. Um, one other possibility is uh, what's known as the um, rum account. And again, you're in the same situation. What you're going to do here is very simply take the thumb, push it forward, grab the bottom disc, display it. Now it looks like you're actually turning this disc over, but what you're going to do is actually rather than going underneath, you're going on top and grabbing the bottom disc with your first finger and middle finger and then using that to turn over the other disc. So what it looks like is you've displayed the one disc, you've come over and turned over the other disc and again you've um, displayed two losing discs when you really um, have a wooden disc amongst the two. Okay, that's my uh, very brief uh, tutorial on the uh, double lift with the um, three disc monte. Um, like I said, it's basically a variation of the double lift done with cards. Um, just a couple other pointers. Um, when do I put the double lift um, in my routine? Well, the double lift can go into your routine anytime you like. Um, it's a nice variation than doing uh, the hype because a lot of routines um, I find that people hype way too much and after a while it becomes very obvious that uh, they're doing a hype. Uh, for my routine, I have it as the second mix, the first actual slight in my routine. Um, my first um, phase that I go through in my, when I do three, say, uh, three disc monte is I display the disc, I often hand them out to be examined, and I explain the rules of the game. Um, I turn it over, tell them to watch the middle disc as I mix them up in full speed. Um, have I lost you yet? No. Um, pick number one, number two, or number three. It's up to you to pick the one you'd like to. Um, I haven't done anything. If they pick the winning disc, I say, excellent choice, that's the one I would pick. Would you put $20 on it? They usually say no. I say, too bad, you would have won $20. Um, and then I give them a poker chip um, to try again. Um, if they pick a losing disc, um, I say, Haha, this is going to be easier than I thought. Um, the reason being is I want to, I want to uh, do the first phase without doing anything because I don't want them to guess um, at the first part of my um, routine. I want them to actually try and guess which um, disc um, is the winning disc, not just blindly guessing. I want them to try and follow me. Um, so that's the first phase I do. The second phase, um, after I've done the first phase and actually done nothing, I, um, that's when I go into the um, double lift move. I often do the gag with this um, with the switch. Um, it's a, it always gets a laugh. Um, if you ever seen the movie The Princess Bride, there's a little um, segment in that done with the two wine glasses, kind of a two glass uh, monte. I got the idea from there and it often, it always gets a laugh. Um, and of course I show the um, N1 as being the loser. The third, the third, the third phase, um, that's when I actually do the hype. Um, I actually do a, a double hype here, um, just like they do on the street and do a mix up and usually spin the mat around for a laugh. And of course, they end up usually picking the wrong discs. So yeah, that's um, that's um, my tutorial there for the double lift. Hopefully that's helped you out. Um, it's a very, uh, like I say, informal tutorial. I was going to make uh, something far, far more um, um, longer and um, done in the studio, um, but COVID's kind of knocked that plans all out for the last couple of years, so um, I decided to make this one and a lot of inquiries about um, some more intermediate and advanced move and um, I'll try to make out some more little uh, videos to help you guys out that are working on 3D uh, Monte. Um, so 
Anyways, uh, that's all for now, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Cheers.